Howdy everybody, welcome back to Outnumbered Barbecue. Today I'm going to show you how I made this Cuban sandwich using homemade ham and mojo marinated pork belly. Let me show you how I did it. For the ham I'm using this two and a half pound pork loin. I'm going to put this in a brine for the next three days. The ham brine is pretty simple. We're going to start with one gallon of water. We're going to add salt, brown sugar, pink curing salt, pickling spice, garlic cloves, some red pepper flakes, and give it a good stir. All these ingredients are down below. We'll add the pork loin, and now this is going to go in the fridge one day for every two pounds. Now here it is after three days. It soaked up some of this brine, much firmer in texture. We're going to rinse off all of these spices in cool water, put it on a rack, put it back in the fridge overnight. Now in addition to the ham, traditionally Cuban sandwiches use roasted pork. I'm going to use a pork belly today. Add a little extra fat, a little bit extra flavor to the sandwich. Now I don't need this whole piece of pork belly. I'll go ahead and cut this in half. I'll use the other half to make bacon, maybe for another video. To make the mojo marinade, we'll start with a whole head of garlic, one small white onion, some orange juice, some lime juice, olive oil, about a tablespoon of oregano, and salt and pepper. Once again, all these ingredients are in the description. And now just give it a blend. It smells amazing. Now we'll add the pork belly to a zip top bag and pour in the marinade. This is going to go back in the fridge overnight. And here we are today. The pork loin is out of the fridge, dried up considerably, nice and firm. And here's the mojo marinated pork belly. We'll add a little bit of salt to the pork belly. We won't add any salt to the ham. It already has enough salt from that brine. We'll also add some coarse black pepper to the pork belly as well as the ham. Now let's get these out on the smoker. I'll be smoking today on the Workhorse Pits 1975T, 250 degree temperature using hickory wood. The ham will only take about two hours. Looking for an internal temperature of 155 degrees. The pork belly take about four and a half hours. I'll be looking for an internal temperature of 200 degrees. And here we are after two hours. The ham has hit an internal temperature of 155 degrees. We'll go ahead and pull it off the pit, wrap it in foil, wait for that pork belly to get done. And here we are after four and a half hours. The pork belly has reached an internal temperature of 200 degrees. We'll go ahead and pull that off, let it rest for about 30 minutes. Slice in, start making some sandwiches. Pork belly's feeling nice and tender. Ham is looking good, nice color. Let's go ahead and slice in and see how they look. Nice pink color from that brine. Let's slice off a piece and get a taste. Smoky, not too salty. Better than ham you can get at the store.
Let's give this pork belly a taste. You can really taste that citrusy garlic marinade. That's really good. Well, let's make some Cuban sandwiches. I'm using French bread. I don't have access to any Cuban bread bakeries where I am, but I hear this French bread is pretty close. I'll spread some softened butter to the top half. In the bottom half, we'll just use some yellow mustard. And add two slices of Swiss cheese on the top and the bottom. We'll add two pieces of ham. Layer a couple of pieces of that mojo marinated pork belly on top. Add a couple of dill pickle slices to the top of that Swiss cheese. Now let's get this on the panini press. Just took about two minutes on the panini press. Cheese was nice and melted. Bread was nice and toasty. That looks great. Let's give it a taste. That's really good. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you give this barbecue cumin sandwich a try. You won't be disappointed. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.